I regret not changing my friends sooner. Why you need new and better friends now. Hi, Jim here. I discovered many years ago by watching friends and family be miserable, and all it would have taken them was some simple advice like I am offering here. No matter what or who, the issue or toxicity is caused by, I have watched people move clear across the country to escape the people in their lives to make a change for the better for themselves. The problem remains the same. No matter where you go to escape, it's not the location. It is the choices that you make in who you become friends with. With that said, the only thing that changes is literally the names of the people and the location. But until we choose to make different choices with whom we call friend, virtually nothing changes, except some scenery. I hope that something in this video is able to help you or someone that you care for. There are plenty of useful nuggets here, let's begin. Having positive, supportive friends is important for your mental and emotional health. If the relationship you have with a friend is making you feel bad about yourself, depressed, or anxious, it's time to move on. Toxic relationships can negatively impact your physical health as well. You may find that if you surround yourself with toxic people, they not only drag you down but also infect others in your life as well. It's important to recognize the signs of a toxic relationship so that you can take steps to remove yourself from it. If you find yourself in a situation where your friend or loved one is behaving in ways that are damaging to your mental and physical health, then it's time for some serious reflection. You don't get a say in how the person you were when you met your friends might have changed. Having positive, supportive friends is important for your mental and emotional health. If the relationship you have with a friend is making you feel bad about yourself, depressed, or anxious, it's time to move on. Toxic relationships can negatively impact your physical health as well. You may find that if you surround yourself with toxic people, they not only drag you down but also infect others in your life as well. It's important to recognize the signs of a toxic relationship so that you can take steps to remove yourself from it. If you find yourself in a situation where your friend or loved one is behaving in ways that are damaging to your mental and physical health, then it's time for some serious reflection. Toxic relationships drain your energy, but healthy ones lift you up. The number one reason why you need new and better friends is because toxic relationships are draining. These are the people who take, take, take from you without giving back. They're always there to complain about their problems while they let yours slide. They make you feel like a doormat instead of a friend or family member. They don't listen when you talk to them, they just wait for their turn to speak, so they can tell their own story again. Or add another complaint about your behavior or body type or whatever else is bothering them that week. In short, toxic relationships suck the life out of your soul and leave nothing but an empty shell behind, which is why they're often referred to as energy vampires. The good news is that you can get rid of them. The bad news is that it might take time, effort and several goodbye parties before they go away for good. But the payoff will be worth it. You'll feel lighter, happier and more at peace with yourself and your life. Here are some tips to help you cut toxic people from your life. A friend is someone who wants the best for you, even if that means losing you. Some people will not like your choices. They may be jealous of what you have, or they might just not want to see you succeed. If someone doesn't want you to succeed and be happy, then they are not your friend. Sometimes the best thing for a person is for them to realize that their friendship is no longer beneficial and move on with their life. Don't be afraid to let go of old friends if they don't add value to your life anymore. You can always make new friends who will support you in your goals or have similar interests as yourself. The people you surround yourself with shape who you are. This is why it's important to know the quality of your friendships. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, so if your friends are not positive people who will lift you up, then you should probably re-evaluate your relationships. Your choices in choosing your friends can determine if you succeed in life or not. Why? Because our brains are constantly working to associate behaviors with rewards and punishments. Even when those behaviors aren't pleasurable in any way. As a result, bad behavior becomes more likely while good behavior becomes less likely when we're around bad influences, or worse yet, bad influences who don't realize they're bad. Your old friends might be holding you back from better things. You probably don't think of your friends as a source of inspiration, but they can be. When you get together with people who are working hard towards their goals and enjoying their lives, it's easy to feel inspired by that. If your friends are constantly giving up on their dreams or working jobs they hate, it's going to be harder for them to be a source of inspiration for you. When people go through rough times and need support from others, having good friends around is usually a great thing. 
but only if those friends actually provide support. If all your friend does is complain about how horrible her life is instead of offering helpful solutions, they won't actually help in any way. They'll just make things worse by being negative all the time. Friends need to give each other encouragement and motivation when they're feeling down or discouraged. Otherwise those feelings will just keep building up until something has changed or exploded. Change isn't a bad thing. Change is inevitable, and you can't stop it. But that doesn't mean you should give up on trying to make things better. It's easy to think of change as a bad thing. A negative force that drags things down and makes them worse than they were before. But that isn't true. Although change can be painful or inconvenient, it's not always negative or unnecessary. Sometimes it helps us grow, improve our lives, or get closer to what we want for ourselves and others. Change isn't only about moving forward, it's also about accepting where we are right now. Change can help us accept who we've become over time by helping us see ourselves more clearly so that we understand how far we've come. And how far there is still left to go, on our journey through life. Getting out of a toxic friendship can help your mental and emotional health. Having positive, supportive friends is important for your mental and emotional health. If the relationship you have with a friend is making you feel bad about yourself, depressed, or anxious, it's time to move on. Toxic relationships can negatively impact your physical health as well. You may find that if you surround yourself with toxic people, they not only drag you down but also infect others in your life as well. It's important to recognize the signs of a toxic relationship so that you can take steps to remove yourself from it. If you find yourself in a situation where your friend or loved one is behaving in ways that are damaging to your mental and physical health, then it's time for some serious reflection. It's necessary to have healthy relationships in order to have healthy lives, even if it means letting go. There's a reason many people consider friendship the most important relationship of their lives. It's because healthy friendships are essential to your overall health and well-being, whether you realize it or not. It's also important to note that when you're feeling down on yourself in any way, others will pick up on this energy and get affected by it too. Even if they don't know why they're feeling this way. So your job as a good friend is to take care of yourself first so that you can give off an aura of confidence and positivity when interacting with others. And remember, just because someone isn't a good friend doesn't mean he, she isn't worth having in your life at all times. Just not necessarily as close friends. The same goes for when you're feeling down on yourself. Just because someone isn't a good friend doesn't mean he, she isn't worth having in your life at all times, just not necessarily as close friends. In fact, sometimes it's best to distance yourself from certain people as much as possible until you can get back on track. In conclusion, it's important not to let the idea of losing friendships stop you from making more friends. And even if you do lose a few along the way, it's worth it because there are so many good things waiting for you on the other side of this change. Like better relationships, improved mental and emotional health, and more happiness. I would like to take a moment to wish everyone a happy holiday season as 2022 is quickly coming to an end. Our goal at All Things Healthy and Sonora Desert Media is to help to make life easier and more successful for all of our followers and our customers wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for taking your valuable time to watch our videos. Please like and subscribe to our channels if you have not already done so.